Alright, you. I can forge weapons for you. Hello. You can forge weapons, yes. Repair equipment. But I'm not here for that. Do come back alive. I'm here for all of your spice. Sure, I should probably break out the age spice at some point, but like, we've almost got this game beat. We've got what? The Manta Ray boss, I think? I think all we've got left is the Manta Ray boss and then effectively the- I might beat this tonight. If I keep rolling. Yeah, I got, an, I got enough hours, holy shit. I honestly thought this was gonna take longer, but I, I guess Demon Souls is pretty quick if you know what you're doing. And stack the really good stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, I'm gonna keep the thief ring on for this next section. If we're really lucky, uh, it'll make me untouchable. Oh, right. Other thing I should probably do? Pass plays yurt. How much heavier is your. Oh boy. Never mind. Uh, let's see, what about the helmet? Nope. Even that's too much. It looks stupid anyway. It is a dumb hat. Okay. Yeah, let, let's send it back. Okay, is there anything else? Yes. Holy arrows. And nothing else. Alright, we're golden. Hatman. Altar of Storms. Yeah, I don't know how the... Oh, I don't know how Blight Town's gonna roll. That's that's my one spook. But if I'm really lucky... The Blight Town region won't be so bad. Uh, let's see. Let's do Fire Spray. I mean, realistically, this is... This is even more of a gimmick boss fight than the dragon, to some degree. It's almost cute. It just needs, like, one more eye. Okay, never mind. It's not so cute. It's little manta babies are kind of cute. But in itself, not, not cute. Okay. So welcome to probably one of the strangest boss fights. Okay, challenge of the storm, you'll need a sword that can rend the sky. Okay, pretty sure that ain't it. New moon grass. That most definitely ain't it. Okay, can I sneak through here? Okay. So this is a weird fight. So we gotta find this sword. I'm like 90% certain it's down here. Shadestone Chunk, which is exactly what I was looking for. Alright, the Storm Ruler. Okay, keep rolling, keep avoiding. Okay, get rid of this. Favor of Storm Ruler, ow. Okay, avoid. Well, I was really hoping. There we go. 
uses up a lot of stamina. But that's okay. Please kill more than one. It did not. Like I said, what a weird duck fight. At least I got a couple of them. I haven't tried the heavy attack yet. I mean, who knows if the heavy attack's any different. Yeah, it kind of is. Nope. Okay. I want to say... Dearest Dadman is unhappy here. Or is it a mother? I have no idea. In one way or another, I'm just gonna farm mad souls off of this. Oh shit, here he comes. Okay, that got him. What a... Damn cool fight. Okay. Is it coming? Ow! That's a new one. I don't really have a whole lot of immediate reaction apart from this is really cool. Okay, I have to hit him in the butt. That's the other takeaway here. Okay, thief ring. Thief ring is not going to help me too much here. That got him bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him again. Nope. Okay. Looks like he's got a couple of babies still out and about. But they might honestly just be a... Did I... Did I not? Okay. I'm just gonna use this rock here. Nope, that didn't work. Use this rock here as my like, as my hiding spot. Between this and the regen ring, I should be should be golden. But like I said, really, truly, kind of barely a boss fight. But what an aesthetic! Ah, shit. What an absolute aesthetic. Only game that's kind of really captured boss design in this exact manner recently kind of kind of but not really would be maybe the pathless i found myself thoroughly enjoying the boss fights in the pathless i thought that game was at least a ma master class in big boss fights oh and the other one would be shadow the colossus now i'm thinking about it 
and a power of human imagination. Oh, I was not paying attention to any of those. How do I get out of here? Is there an arch stone out here? No. There it is. Okay. Except for I can't climb up that. Uh, is it this way? <laughs> I never learned how to get back up. Well, this looks promising. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Might as well grab everything as we go by. Uh, anything else? I was kind of quick to explore the... Or explore. Quick to run through this area because I didn't want to get shot too much. But I think that's it. Actually, yeah. Very... Very basic boss arena. One very handy safety stone. Thank you, safety stone. Alright, back to the Nexus. I am just knocking them out of park. So, all we have left now is Light Town. Okay. So, first things first. We should get rid of this sword. It was rad. It is no longer going to help me, and I'm 90% certain using it is pointless. Yeah, can I see? Here we go. Legendary large sword with a barbed blade, named for the one for one who quells or controls storms. It said the ancestral shadow men rent the very storm clouds from the sky with its might. Abandoned for an age, the sword is badly deteriorated, but what remains of this once mighty weapon is still enough to send foes flying. Wielded in the forest of Monoliths, resting place of the ancestral spirits. Its power to run the sky might just be reawoken. Okay, send that to storage. My equipment is good. So, actually, where's the... Okay, yeah, the Strava is still fine. For the moment. Where is... There she is. Okay. Seek power. Magic. Wow. Okay. I can level up one more time. I'm an... I'm an absolute one-trick pony, and I love it. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Bam. I really should go back and finish some of the old other Souls-likes that I, I've never finished. Like go back and finish the Surge 1's DLC. Go back and finish the Surge 2. Uh, play Bloodborne? Do come back alive. I feel like if I play Bloodborne, though, I'd really like to play that multiplayer. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to take a moment. We're going to go Inner Ward. Do we just want to clear Inner Ward while we're here? It is intensely tempting. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, that's less embarrassing. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of late moon grass here. Oh. I'm still human. That's a problem. Wow. Okay, I do some damage. I gotta go die, though. Uh, let's see. I guess let's just buy... Like, two more spice. It doesn't really matter at this point. I think I have more than enough spice to last me to the end of the game. But it is so much easier on my mental health. Uh, Do come back mental? Alive. I don't know. It's it's easier on me playing this game when I have nothing to lose. Because then you can just be like, yeah, whatever. Who cares? And once again, the only blood stain I, I have is this one. Because I'm, I'm rocking this right now. This is liable to change. We should probably switch my fire shot out for a regular soul arrow. I'd, at least if we're going 
it, when we go into the swamp, I think we want to bring fire. But I think when we're when we're going to be in uh, Bulletaria, we're just going to want to go with pure magic. Oh, thank you. Hello. Okay, attune magic. Let's get rid of fire spray. Hello, not soul ray. Just basic soul arrow. Bring me more. I'll have to think on home, homing soul arrow. The big issue with it is it has really abysmal range, and super frustratingly, it's really abys. Oh, eh, we'll probably be fine. The really abysmal range is longer than the projectile flight lifespan, if that makes sense. Yeah, I can probably live without grabbing more grass. It, hell, I probably have some in storage. Uh, let's see. So, like we saw earlier with the Blue Moon Knight, it's like, oh, hey! Let's, uh... There we go. Oh, it did die. Hell yeah, I'm ridiculous. What do I have equipped? Regenerator's ring and the cling ring. I, uh, that's probably fine. I don't actually know if the fragment ring is that amazing. Okay. What we should probably do is actually upgrade my cutlass. I don't think it's actually a cutlass. I forget what it is. Because we definitely have the supplies for it. Oh. Uh, Stravas? Why are you wandering around here? The king. Okay, well that means this is relatively safe. I think? I don't know why he's going that way. Okay, well, all things considered, we have a clear shot at that area. I don't remember if there's really much of like a final level after this. Or if it really is just like a straight shot up to the king. Uh, almost straight shot. There's like one or two surprises. Okay, you. Sir. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need your demise. Okay. I don't see anything fancy here. I do see a lot of dudes though. This is going to be a slog. Plus side of things, these guys are really weak to my most basic spell. Also, I said I wanted to farm some late moon grass. Turns out the blue moon. Ow. Turns out the blue moon knights were unnecessary. That said, I would very much like to be done with the... Uh-oh. Didn't I kill him? Probably just a completely... Oh, no. Okay, well, that's one way to do it. But also, ouch. Okay. Well, luckily these guys drop mad goods. Mad goods as long as I, you know, remember to actually... Okay, there goes one. Alright. 
This didn't work. This is gonna hurt. Okay, you. That was rough. Well, at least we get some new Newman grass from that. Oh, that was a waste. It's okay. We've probably farmed enough. Especially with all the bonus full moon and whatever moon grass that we're going to just pick up here, but... Still pricey. There we go. Yeah, we're good. Now, this fight's weird. I'm curious how it's going to go for me. Is this not the fight I was thinking of? Okay. I... Well, it's good that I rescued him. He's kind of complete garbage. But that's okay. One more demon down. <laughs> well, that was easy. I isn't there a boss fight somewhere where you fight like a bunch of enemies at once? Fine work back there. Then again, how could a demon ever stand up to a burn a fight at night? <laughs> Now, you uh, go on ahead. I must be getting older. I need some rest. All this guy does is nap. Yup, he's gone. Alright, well that was easy. Where's the, like, oh... No, that's, that's the next... It's like a mid-boss fight in the next area. Well, back to the Nexus, again. I'm just gonna level up. I'll be right back. This is the usual. Well, that was easy. So now that we've perforated the penetrator, let's go back to the King's Tower. Do we want to? I uh, at the very least, let's clear out this mid-boss fight up ahead. But I don't think I want to fight the king yet. That hurt. We go back to this. I'm gonna remove this one. That's never gonna help me. There we go. Dude. Okay. Yeah, we want to just get rid of all of these guys. But there's a trio of dudes in the back that I'm also going to want to get rid of. And also... A crystal lizard. I'm not going to be able to get rid of the crystal lizard. Well. Oh, that makes my life easy. Okay, there's one. Okay, so she's right there. Well, I'm dead. That was fast. I was expecting her to be a little bit less swordy, but holy shit, she is quick on the draw. Alright, 
so first question is first, is the other guy there, or... Is he gone? I guess we'll find out in a bit. Okay, there we go. Much smoother this time around. Please, sir. Ow. What the hell? Okay. Then there were two. So the big issue... Okay. So Tower Shieldman... Ow. Tower Shieldman's got a little bit more range than I give him credit for. And he's now dead. Alright. Easy peasy. That's going to slow me down. Okay, I don't necess... No, I mean, I pretty much know how to deal with her. Juice up. There she goes. Okay, we are good. How much does that heal me? Holy crap, I've been wasting my juice. Alright, so what else do we got around here? Because I know there's stuff around here. I guess what I'd like to do is go get that Titanite Beetle to respawn. Oh. Bonus question. Let's go back. I want to go check something. So supposedly the Crystal Lizards respawn, right? In that case, I probably should have been farming them a lot more aggressively here. So let's go back to the Archstone real quick. Fix my shit, because apparently it's taken some damage from something. Uh, but those red phantoms are, are gone for good, so I don't have to think about them anymore. Okay, so go back to... go back to you. I can forge weapons for you. Repair equipment. Repair all. Do come back alive. Okay. Uh, there she is. I'm only going to be able to level up once here. Uh, still no diminishing returns. I mean, there kind of is. My weapon scaling ain't so great, but it says my magic scaling is fine. Uh, let's see if I picked up any. That should be enough. Glass cannon. It's a way of life. It's really effective too. Like I am, I'm kind of floored by how effective magic is. I almost wonder if uh, the efficacy of magic here is part of the reason why uh, it's not so great in subsequent games. Not to say that magic is actually bad in Dark Souls Two or Dark Souls or Dark Souls One, Two, or Three. I guess pyromancy is pretty good, but like you don't have spells that just delete bosses in these. Okay, so we wanted to go Shrine of Storms. I want to go see if those crystal lizards have returned. Because if they have, we want to grab the chunks out of them and probably go upgrade my weapon. I see I've made a bit of a mistake here. Okay, pure moon shade stone, perfect. I didn't realize that all of these guys would respawn. 
That makes this inherently a little spookier. Okay. I think I'm safe while I'm touching this thing, but it could be wrong. So let's see if they respawn. Let's see if they respawn multiple times. They seem to. Okay. Well, the other one's already gone. I'm going to take some damage here because, unfortunately, I'm holding on to this gosh darn thing. Nope. Okay. So, fun fact. That hurt. Okay. We are good. So getting getting the other crystal lizard is going to be tough. But if we're lucky, eh? now they might just spawn endlessly. Okay, nope. You don't get to escape. No one gets to escape escape me. I wonder if it lived. It was the lizard that lived. Yeah, I was I was assuming they behaved like they did in Dark Souls, but maybe these crystal lizards don't. The they actually just respawn endlessly. No. Maybe they have a set spawn rate based on... ...how many bosses you've killed. So... There's no penalty for, uh... ...for missing them? But they only have that many lives or appearances. I truly do not know. That said, we're getting we're getting a lot of chunks here. So I'm probably just gonna take my my cutlass that I have. And just max it out. There we go. Because some part of me would absolutely love to try out, like, different weapons, but honestly, many of them behave very similarly anyway. Oh. This is... thing. I mean, flip side, it's actually pretty good souls. I, If I cared more, I think I would actually farm here. And if I absolutely desperately need souls, I will. Okay, I don't see any more lizards, so I, I think we might have tapped them out. Yeah, look, looks like they're gone for good. All right. Maybe they'll respawn when I kill a boss, but even if they don't, we have one more crystal lizard that I I know I can go farm out. Okay, so we want to go back to Island's Edge. Nope, didn't work. There we go. Uh, let's get out of this madhouse. It's just a li it's a little much. Oh, it's not Island's Edge. Sorry. Uh, ah. Ritual Path. Because Ritual Path had that one with the really basic shards. And I think we're going to need them. I think the price gets more expensive, but I don't know about how much. I guess the flip side is, we could also just not give a dang and probably be fine. Because when it boils down to it, 
I'm absolutely loaded on spice, so like, who really cares? Better to just use the crisp, potentially. Oh well. I totally forgot about that trap. That said, I'm going fast enough that it doesn't matter. Okay. So that's that's how we get at least some moonshade stone shards. It's not fast. We should probably actually uh, let's swing past the nexus and see how many I've I've accrued. Because maybe I just have enough. Okay, to the nexus. To the wall. Uh, let's see. So how many moon? Hello how many moon shade stones am I am I sitting on here, dude, man? Okay, I can put away cloudstone shards. Not nearly as many as I thought I was going to. So yeah, I only have six moon you moon shade stone. Uh, it's it's not. It's not to my preference to go grinding for these things. And honestly, considering how well I've just been doing, maybe I just say, like, whatever, who cares? I'll just make do without. Really wish Blacksmith Ed had come back. The Nexus. I think I get it. This is his fancy smith shop, but it is so inconvenient. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's fine. Hello! Upgrade weapon. Okay, so we do not have any colorless demon souls, but we do have this. Okay, so looking at this, to get level 5, I'm gonna need 6 Moonshade Stone. And that's it. Alright. I guess... Eh, it's only a handful of souls. Oh, but it won't let me go anywhere. Dang. I was kind of hoping it would let me shortcut back, but no dice. I know there's also a merchant somewhere in the uh, the Temple of Storm. It oh, maybe it's the dude in the Ritual Path just as you show up. It's definitely one of the characters there that actually lets you... Buy Moonshade Stone. Hello. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. I gave you my spare soul stuff, yeah. Mainly, it's just yep. Okay, so let's get rid of the lead, silver, hero, and storm, and possibly legendary warrior soul. I bet. No. Legendary Warrior Soul is just a bunch of souls, nothing more. Alright. You have a heart of gold. So let's let's go back to the ritual path for a second and just see if I can buy the Moonshade Stone. Because I, I know it's something that I, I can purchase. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> 